guys, today's video is going to be a haul video. As some of you may know, I recently got back from New York City. I was at New York IMATS. It was my first time at IMATS and it was so much fun. Um, my boyfriend Michael came with me and we spent about five days in New York and we just had an amazing time. It was honestly one of the best trips that I've ever been on and I cannot wait to go back next year. If you're wanting to see a vlog video, you're in luck because I filmed one. So um, I actually am needing to edit that and put all the pieces together and I will be posting that hopefully sometime by the end of the week and you guys can check out my travels there. So let's just get into the haul. The first thing that I'm seeing, oh, let's just start with this little thing, why not? This is a Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips, and I'm sure you guys have seen this or some variation of it before. I just purchased mine from Walgreens. I have the original one that I keep um, beside my bed in my nightstand, and I just put it on before bed, um, and I just, I just got this one, honestly, like... It's just adorable. It's just so miniature and cute and I love it. It was less than $2, so whatever. Oh, before I left, I also stopped at Nordstrom because I had to return a couple things and I ended up getting a couple of MAC eyeshadows. So this one is Texture and this is Blanc Type. Texture is just a nice, warm, um, neutral brown shade and I just like this one for as a like crease color or a blending color, transition color, whatever you want to call it, just a nice shade to have. And Blanc Type, I just wanted um, a shade that was matte, that would be a go-to highlight shade for underneath my brow bone or on my inner tear ducts. If you can tell at all, I do have it on as a highlight shade today, again in my inner tear duct and um, below my brow bone. I also picked up a pigment, which I have Never purchased a pigment from MAC. Where have I been? I know. Um, and this is the pigment in the shade Tan. This is a very famous pigment, and I definitely see why. These pigments last you literally probably your lifetime as long as you don't spill them or, I don't know, use them every single day of your life. But you just need barely any. So if you can see that on my finger right there, I just seriously got barely any. And I'll show you how this swatches on my hand. So that's like a light wash of it, if you can see it there. And taking a little bit more, it is just a beautiful champagne bronze shade. It just, it's honestly gorgeous. I know that a lot of people like this for the summertime, and that's why I wanted to try it out. I think this is, that this will be a great all over lid color, um, among other things. So I'm excited to use this. I have used it once, but I'm excited to experiment with it a little bit more. Just continuing on with MAC, while I was in New York City, I did purchase the MAC perfume in Turquatic. This is amazing. First of all, I rarely buy perfumes at all, and I smelled this at the MAC counter, and I just, I loved it. I'm not very good at describing scents, um, so I would suggest you going to the MAC counter um, or a Mac store and just getting a sample of it. They will do that for you or at least the store I went to did. I just think this smells so good, especially for spring and summer because it's not too musky or like too heavy. It just, it's perfect. This is the medium size bottle and this was actually $30, which I think was pretty reasonable for a medium size perfume and I like it. Two other things from Walgreens that I picked up before I left. This is Giordana's Mascara, the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. And I have been using this for about a week now. Um, I did bring it with me to New York City and I absolutely love this. This is a mascara that's under $5. You can find Giordana at Walgreens. I think it was three or $4. And I just think this is a really good mascara, especially considering the price. Um, it does have a standard wand and it's been working out really well, so I would definitely check it out. And then I also picked up the Jordana Easy Liner, the retractable black liner. This was also very inexpensive. All of Jordana's products are, if you aren't familiar. And it's just a nice, really dark black matte. Oh, one more thing for MAC. I did pick up 
a MAC eyeliner. This is in Costa Riche. And I had this a long time ago in high school and I forgot how much I loved it. This is just a very warm brown eyeliner. And it has like hints of red undertones in it, which I really like. I have been wearing this in my waterline as well. I actually have it in my waterline today and a little bit on my lower lash line. Super smooth, super creamy, and I absolutely love it. While in New York City, I did venture over to Sephora, and I only picked up two things actually, one of which was the Blender Cleanser Solid. You guys may have heard me talk about this before. I think I even mentioned it in one of my favorites videos, but this is an awesome uh, cleanser. It's kind of like a soap bar, and it's sealed, so I'm not even gonna open it, but it's really great for cleansing your Beauty Blender sponges, or in my case, the Real Technique sponges, and even my brushes. It just gets everything squeaky clean, really fast and I will definitely continue to repurchase this. I like it so much better than the Beauty Blender Cleanser, um, the liquid one. So if you haven't used the solid version, definitely give this a try. The second thing I bought from Sephora is very exciting. This is the Buxom Nudes and Brights 6 Mini Full Body Lip Glosses. Isn't this adorable? I don't know if this is limited edition or not, but I have a feeling that it is. So this comes with six lip glosses. Three on the top are like nude shades and the three on the bottom are like bright pinks and there's like a purplish shade. I will do a separate video on this, just like a couple minute video, just with swatches of this if you guys wanna see that. Definitely subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out and I will be posting that very soon. Love that. I picked up a bronzer and a blush, number 72. If you're not familiar with Inglot, to me it is kind of annoying because they have like numbers instead of names and so it's kind of like, uh, what's the name of this? But this is what it looks like here. If you can tell on camera, this definitely has like sparkles in it, which I know is so like taboo for a bronzer, but I actually use this today as a contour and I'm telling you guys right now, you cannot see the shimmer on your face. I don't know if it's like one of those deals where once you put it on your face, all the glitter just like falls right off. Regardless, like that's fine with me because I really don't want like super glittery sparkles on my cheeks. Even as I'm swatching it, I am seeing a few flecks, but you just don't see it on your cheeks. So that is the bronzer there. Again, that's number 72. This is extremely creamy. I mean, literally, it is just velvety smooth. It is so nice. I don't know, I really like it. And again, I have it on today, so if you like how it looks, then maybe you'll like it on yourself as well. And also, Inglot is very reasonably priced. And then the blush that I got, I was like, oh my God. They had so many beautiful blushes to choose from, like so, so, so many. It was so hard to pick, especially because I was trying to go again for blushes that I don't have and I just love blush so much so it was hard but this is the one that I picked out and this is in the number 62 it's like a hot 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 pink like extremely hot pink blush oh my god like so so velvety and smooth I really wish you guys could feel this because it is just so nice and extremely pigmented I think this is going to be a beautiful blush for spring and summer. If you're very fair, I would just use a light hand, but this blush can even go up to very, very dark skin tones um, because it is so bright. It just, oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. And it's just like, I cannot emphasize enough like how smooth and creamy and just like luxurious this feels. I cannot believe it. One of the last things that I got from IMAX is model in a bottle. So this is a makeup setting spray, the matte finish, and I'll take it out of this uh, box here. I think this is different packaging than they've ever had before. I have never tried it before, but I've seen a whole bunch of people talk about it, and when they hold the bottle up, it does not look like this at all. Um, so I think that this may be like a new packaging I'm not sure anyways I was so excited to see this because I love setting sprays so 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 much I'm just I love this I'm so excited to try it hopefully I like it 
Oh, I forgot about this thing. I did go to, what is this? Alexa Persico Cosmetics. And I ended up picking up this pigment. This is in, is this Royal? Regal. This is in Regal. Um, she had a lot of nice pigments, but this one I was like, uh, cannot leave without it. That is insane. So again, pigments, like I was talking with the MAC one, you need barely any. And are you ready for this? Look at how intense that is. It is like green and like old gold. And it is just like, to me, this is like bam in your face, like insanely pigmented. When she was swatching them on me, I was like, oh yeah, that's really nice. And then she swatched this one on me and I was like, give it. And the last things that I got from iMats are from Chakot for Professionals. So this is what it looks like. I have personally never heard of this brand ever. This is a Japanese brand and they had beautiful brushes. I mean, like the softest brushes I've ever felt in my life. They were like made from a squirrel or something, but I did see these powder puffs and I was really excited because I love using a powder puff to press my setting powder on. Um, no matter what setting powder I'm using, I just think that that works so much better to keep my makeup on longer rather than just like dusting it around. Um, often what I'll do, just side note, is press all the powder on and then if there's any excess I just like dust it off with a fluffy brush. This is like, have you ever had like a chinchilla's foot like graze your face? I know, I know, me too. I used it today and it was just like... So after IMAX was over I was pretty disappointed that I didn't get the chance to explore the Inglot booth as much as I would have liked to. So fortunately, there was a standalone Inglot store in Times Square. I was so excited to see this store. So starting with the lipsticks, um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these, but it's kind of different. I, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. This is in the shade 415, and my idea was just to pick lipsticks that I would get a lot of use out of. I didn't want to just... I didn't know what the formula was like, so I didn't want to just get like a neon pink and then, oh, it just sit in my collection and me never use it. So I tried to get stuff that I would use a lot of. That is what that looks like right there. Now, I do think that these are good lipsticks, but I have to admit the formula is pretty dry. It is not as creamy as I wish I could say that they are. Like I have to go over it like two or three times for it to really feel like, okay, I'm applying lipstick. <laughs> that sounds so weird. And then this darker color is 417. So it was 415 and 417. Just while I have it out here, I did get a pigment. This is number 28. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I don't know why I'm so like drawn to this color. In general like I mean with decorating with clothing with makeup with oh my god just like everything I'm so drawn to this color <gasps> look at it is that not amazing like super 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 beautiful gorgeous okay then I picked out some eyeshadows and ugh, again I was like even though I was the only one in the store I was just like uh, what do I pick? There's so many. What do I need? What do I wear? What will I wear? What will I have fun with? I was just like freaking out. This one is number 25 and I actually do have it on my lid today. It's not very sparkly or anything, but it does have like a high sheen and I did like how it applied to my eyes and let me just mention that the shadow has stayed on my eyes really, really well today. Like I can still see it really well, even though I've had it on for quite a few hours. This is number 605. <gasps> Look at it, it's so beautiful. I love it. I wish I would have got like 17 variations of it. It's so perfect. Look at those three together, isn't that pretty? So nice. This is in number 154. Just beautiful. 154. This is in number 320. I had to get it. So that is 320. And then I did get a shimmering green and this is a number 44. 
And the last shadow I also love, and this is in the shade 450. All these shades look pretty together too. So that's 450. So these, look how gorgeous, it's like a little rainbow. I'm sorry. I love color so much. And the last thing that I got over this entire haul, are you guys still with me, is a blush. It is like a beautiful, bright, 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 orangey coral. I mean, stunning, okay? Like, I cannot, I cannot. Oh my God. <laughs> so beautiful. I love it so, 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 so much. That's a weird spot to swatch something. So that completes my haul of New York City. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ugh, I love all of these colors. I fell in love with everything all over again. I cannot wait to use every single one of them. If you guys would like a tutorial or some sort of get ready with me video using any of these products in particular, definitely let me know down below. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Look how pretty. I've got enough of this.